Hey guys, it's Tachi Fan, and I'm here again. Yay! Um, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about something. So, I figured I'd talk a little bit about about a topic that I think could be talked about. Um, so in the um, in just a general like viewpoint a lot of times when you have people who are are in businesses and who work in companies and just that in general a lot of people do talk like they talk about expanding growing the horizon like adding new things changing new things making new things happen like um I was just watching one of my YouTubers and they're talking about expanding their stuff as well. So it's 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 interesting to see because I've seen companies do this a lot. Like they do it all the time. And for the majority of people, some people don't like change, like to keep it the same way. Hence um the dying factor of YouTubers I mean, honestly, YouTubers, some YouTubers just completely dying out and some just like going downhill, but then just flatlining and they'll peak up a little bit, but they just are at this flat line because they decide to do something new and some people don't like it. I wanted to talk about a thing that a, I want to talk about a specific concept that I'm seeing in in video games, okay? So as a gamer, for me, myself, um, talking about the concept of what some game developers are doing that I, I get, I understand, I understand why they're doing it, but, oh, I don't, I don't like what they're doing. So, if you guys don't know, there's, uh, well, if you guys don't know, um, Call of Duty coming out with the Black Ops 4. If you haven't seen the trailer for it, I, I mean, yeah, by all means, take a look at it. But I'm seeing the new Call of Duty. And for me, when it comes to games, I love, for gaming, I love a good story. A game that has a good story base and it... It has really good plot, really good character development, um, just whether it's artistic, whether it's just based on the story itself, or whether or not you have a couple of good characters. Like, um, I loved the um, art style for Child of Light. I loved the um, handsome Jack in Borderlands 2. I actually enjoyed him as a character. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some games that I just love because I just love the game itself. Hence Sonic. Sonic's terrible storyline. Very cheesy, corny. But I love the stages. Stages are really good. Always, always entertain me. But what Call of Duty's doing, I don't know if I like it. It's more like okay, so Black Ops 4, they're they have their multiplayer, which given that happens. They're adding zombies. I don't know how I feel about the zombies. Zombies are like in a gladiator style. I don't know. I don't know how it, it is. Uh, don't get me wrong. Some people really enjoyed some of their, like some people really enjoyed their advanced warfare zombies. I just think it's, the zombies are too spongy, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, they aren't, the, the one thing that irks me a bit and the one thing that always gets me like upset with Call of Duty is they t they think the campaign's dying. They think the campaign's a dying thing. Nobody ever goes to Call of Duty for a campaign. And I can understand their defense. Like like I can understand they're like, well, people go to multiplayer. People will replay the multiplayer, so we should focus more on that. That's cool. I understand that, but to say that the campaign is dying is not it's not a thing 
and and that's and that's where I don't see that as a dying thing. I mean, you have plenty of like indie developing games that are popular. I mean, look at the whole Five Nights at Freddy's, the Bendy and the Ink Machine, um, Resident Evil had a really good plot line and story, and and it's single player. Like you have these big games that have single player, and yeah, you have these other games that are multiplayer, like. You have Counter-Strike that's basically like a multiplayer. You have Battlefield, um, Halo having multiplayer. I mean, yeah, people love the Halo for the story. Um, but the thing that they, they're, they're saying is they aren't doing a campaign because they took a month, like I believe it was like a month of vacation. I don't, why? Like just delay the game a month keep a campaign because i love campaign i love a good story i loved the story in modern warfare 1 modern warfare 2 uh black ops 1 black ops 2 was eh but i i enjoyed their story i really like their story and they are just getting rid of it because oh well we're gonna have this blah blah, blah. we're gonna do this we're not gonna have that and then they're adding they're adding a um, battle royale, and that's another thing I want to talk about because one thing that I I'm seeing is, and this is not just from Call of Duty, it's not just from them, because people have that, um, like it's not bad at all. So the thing is that, p like game developers do this thing where they there's that trend. Like, because Fortnite started something big, and people are realizing, oh my gosh, like, don't get me wrong, PUBG, PUBG started it too, but, and I'm sure there's other games that have done it before them, but not, they're not as popular. So you're seeing PUBG and Fortnite having this big wave, because they have this battle royale, um, and now game developers are just copying it. It's it's turning into a copy. And the thing is, I'm seeing Call of Duty doing this, and I'm looking at it like, why? Why are you doing this? Like, I, don't, I get it. I get why you're doing it. I get, I get it. I understand why you're doing it because there is a potential chance for profit. But, uh, and then they're talking. Call of Duty is talking about how they're gonna. They have. They have like the guns are all gonna have. The different recoils, they're going to all have their own unique set and style, which is great. But if they are focusing on the multiplayer community, the multiplayer fans, their fan base for the multiplayer, they liked the n no recoil. Hence, like, the 50 cal, which is, you just pop it a couple times and be done. But they didn't care about that. All they cared about was just having gun that had faster fire rate or better damage or somewhat of a stealth like you don't you didn't see them like caring too much about that like uniqueness to each individual gun they almost don't really care and seeing them trying to do that in the battle royale i don't i mean i don't know how it's gonna play out the game hasn't come out yet so we won't know until we see it but i'm I'm seeing how there's this trend, because the thing is, just like how there is, like, an infected um, match, an infected style gameplay coming from Halo, going into Call of Duty, it's like, it. you get those waves, you get the waves of, like, one thing is just like, oh my god, the gamers love it, the gamers love it, they're gonna keep going after it, and then the bigger developers are like, oh, we're seeing a big community in this let's try it ourselves let's see where things go and i'm like that's cool but why not come up with your own idea yeah i mean i, I get it i get why you're saying that and get why it's it's i understand why people do that but i'm just like come up with your own idea yeah fortnite copied PUBG in a way but but they had their own style they it has its own little style of like creating and crafting and and it just adds a little bit and just the I guess the, the more cartoony-ish style um, I see it 
I see it's like a little bit different. It's not, it is, but it isn't. But Call of Duty, I think, I think what they're doing is eh, eh. And then you're also adding the concept with, with, um, with them doing Battle Royale. I think that they'll have their own twist, but I seriously think that their Battle Royale is going to have kill streaks. I seriously think they're going to do that. And if they put kill streaks into a Battle Royale, it's, I don't know how that's going to go. I don't know how it's going to go. I mean, we won't know until we see it, but I just saw that and I wanted to, I wanted to vent about it because just a little bit because seeing this, it, it irks me. It irks me just a little bit. I mean, Call of Duty, no, just, just, just no. I, I, I but, but, you know, they think that the, the single player is like dying. They think it, it's dying. They don't think it's a, a thing worth keeping. So the campaign they're going to get rid of multiplayer, they're like, oh, we're going to focus on them. We're going to focus on that. That's all the fans care about. All they care about. Um, and their zombies have kind of died out too. Like, I mean, for me personally, they, 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 I just don't, I don't like care too much about their zombies anymore. I used to. I used to love the zombies. World of War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2. And even their extinction wasn't too bad. Like, the ghost extinction wasn't bad at all. But, uh, that, but either way, that's just my opinion. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the whole Battle Royale situation? What do you guys think of the whole, like, Call of Duty thinking camp, like, the whole campaign dying and that being a dying thing? By all means, leave it in the comments down below. Hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, as always, I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys.